Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a fluffy scrunchie. So for the materials, you'll need yarn. I have this baby velvet yarn. I got this from Michaels. It was on sale for $3. I have scissors. You can use any type of scissors you want, but I'll be using yarn scissors or thread scissors. Whatever y'all want to call them, that's what I'm using. I'll be using a 5 millimeter hook. You can use a hair tie or elastic. I am using a hair tie. If you were to use elastic, you want to measure it around your wrist without being stretched. Then you'll cut it at that length. I'll also be using a yarn needle. Here's one I have, but I won't be using that one for this project. I'll be using this one. I got this kit from Wish, but you can get it from Wish, AliExpress, Alibaba, whatever. So starting off, I'm going to make a slip knot and I'm going to chain 46. Now come back once that chain is finished. So right here I'm showing you that this yarn, you cannot really see. It's more about feeling as opposed to seeing when it comes to this. But what we're going to do is not go into the first, not the second, but the third hook from the chain. And we're going to place a double crochet. If you don't know what a double crochet is, you're going to yarn over. Insert your hook into a chain. Pull through. Yarn over pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more, and we're going to continue this down the chain. When you're done, you should have, let's see, like 45, I believe, yes, 45 double crochets, I have to go back and count, we have 45 double crochets, but it's hard to see, so just do as best as you can. So right here I'm showing you the stitches and as you can see you can't really distinguish the stitches. So yeah that's one thing I love about this yarn. You can't really tell it's crochet unless you're doing a crochet. So for the rest of the video I decided to do it from my point of view. So now we are approaching row two. We're going to chain one, turn our work, and place a double crochet in that first space and every other stitch down the row. So again, if you don't know what a double crochet is, you're going to yarn over, place your hook in the stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and that's a double crochet. That's all we're doing for this, double crochets.
so now we're finished a second row and as I'm showing you here it is not fluffy if we were to stop right here that's not what we want we want it to be a fluffy so what we're gonna do is continue for two more rows So now we are approaching the end of our fourth row of double crochets. We're going to chain one. Here I am measuring it up. You want to put one side in the inner portion of the hair tie and one side on the outer side. And we're just going to line it up and start single crocheting our way down. If you're not comfortable with doing this, you can sew it, hand sewing or you can use fabric glue for the fabric glue i would recommend e6000 that's my go-to fabric glue and it works amazing you just have to wait approximately 24 hours to ensure that it is secure So now we're coming up on the final stitches. So we're almost done closing this off. Sorry that I went out of frame, guys. Sorry, but it's just the same thing. Just single crochet and our way down the end. So here I'm just making sure all my stitches are done. And it had stretch. I'm showing you guys the end of it. What we're gonna do now is cut off that yarn. You can cut like one, you know, I'm like two to three inches off. And then we're just gonna tie off our yarn. For my tying off, I make like I'm going to do another chain, but I don't complete it. I don't pull it through all the way. I use my finger as a stopper so I don't pull it through all the way. Stick my hook through that loop then pull through the rest of the thread and pull tight now we have our two ends we're gonna take our yarn needle and we're just gonna start closing off the ends again if you're not comfortable with sewing this you can always use fabric glue and again e6000 is my go-to So now that we're finished, we're just going to thread up our needle and then pull through that yarn, pull through the yarn ends. We're just going to stick them in as far as we think it can go. As you see, we have a little piece hanging out, but once we stretch it, it disappears. So your ends are nothing to worry about. We don't have to worry about it coming loose. And I'm just taking that single crochet edge and putting it in the inside. 
So now I'm showing you a side by side comparison of the scrunchies. The first one I made that with four rows of half double crochet. The second one, four rows of double crochet. You see it's very fluffy compared to its opponent, the original. Yes, you can definitely see the size difference.